Hello friends, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. This is Lipsa again with you. So we have been discussing about various mapping techniques using Mapstruck. Okay. So today we will learn about another mapping technique where we will create a custom method and use it to do the source to target mapping using Mapstruck. Okay. So sometimes to solve a specific conversion requirement we need these custom methods. Okay. To achieve this, first we need to create a custom method and then we will let Mapstruck know about that method. So finally what happens? Finally Mapstruck will call this method to do the source to target conversion. Okay. So without wasting any time, let me directly jump to the coding part so that I can demonstrate this concept with an example. So let me go to my workspace. So this is the project we have created, Spring Boot with Mapstruck demo for the demo purposes. So here I have two entity already. One is order DTO, another is order entity. I'll use this class order DTO and order entity to demonstrate the example and custom method. Okay. So here if you mark here I have added another field like status, which is a Boolean type. Okay. And in my order DTO also I have added another field that is order status, which is a string type. So now I need to convert this order status to this status string type order status to boolean type status while converting to order DTO to order entity and vice versa by using custom method. Okay, so how we can do this? Let's check. So for this I need to create a mapper. So I have already a mapper order mapper. See where I have the mapping for order amount and order date. So these two method is there, two entity uh, which convert order DTO to order and two DTO which converts order entity to order DTO. So here we will add another mapping for status. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier to do the source to target conversion by using this custom mapping methods, we need to create a method first. Okay, so let me create a method quickly. So let me create a default method inside this interface. So default check order status. Okay, so this method accept a string parameter because while converting order DTO to order, inside order DTO we have the status as what? We have the status as string type. See here order status is string type. So we, we need to convert this order status of string type to boolean type status. Okay, so that's why my return type is boolean. And this method accept a string type of order status. Okay. So inside this method I will add my own logic. Okay. So let me quickly add my logic here. Okay. So here I defined a boolean flag. So if this order status is coming as delivered from this order DTO class. Then I will set this flag as true. Else I will set the flag as false. And return that flag. So what happens when I convert to entity. If the order DTO comes as delivered, then to my order entity class, to my order entity class, the status field is set as true. Okay, else it's set as false. Understood? So now we need to annotate this method as at the rate named. This is the important point. So first we need to create a method, then we need to annotate this method as at the rate name and with a value parameter. So we'll pass the value. Value, let's say I am passing the value as check order status, a same as method name. So, check order status. Now, we will inform Mapstruck about this custom method to do the conversion. So, how we can do this? We need to add another mapping here while converting order DTO to order entity for that status field. Okay. So, let me quickly add that mapping here. Okay. So, we have added this source to target mapping for order status. So now we will tell Mapstruck to use this custom method to do the conversion. Okay, how we can do this? So we can do this by adding another property inside this mapping. Okay, so what is that property? That is nothing but qualified by name. This property is qualified by name. So we will pass this method name. That is check order status. So what happens? Mapstruck will automatically call this method while converting order status to status okay so this is nothing but 
source to target conversion while we are converting order detail to order. Similarly, we can add another uh, custom method to uh, convert order entity to order DTO for the status field. So, I can do like this, just mark here, I can add another default method here for order entity to order DTO transformation. So, see, I can do like this. So, I can create another method check order status in string. Uh, you can give any other name as well. I just give a random name. So, we need to annotate this uh, method other name and pass this value. Okay. So, this method will return a string as we are converting order entity to order DTO. So, inside order DTO, we have the status as string field and it will accept a boolean field as here our source is order entity and inside order entity, we have that status field as boolean. So, we need to pass a boolean field and return it as a string. Okay. So, this is my own logic. So, if I have added, if the status is come as true from the order entity, then set it to deliver else set it to pending and return as order status. Okay. So, while we convert this order entity to order DTO, if in order entity we have this flag as true, then in order DTO it is set to deliver. Else it is set to pending. Okay. Here also we need to tell MapStruck to use this custom method while mapping source to target. So, here while we are converting order to order DTO, here also we need to add another mapping. So, let me add it. Okay. So, we have added here our source is status and target is order status. And here we will let MapStruck know about this custom method by this property qualified by name and we have provided this value check order status in string here. Okay. So, if I open the implementation class for this order mapper, then you can see while we are converting this to entity, okay, while we are converting order DTO to order, automatically MapStruct will call this method, check order status and set the logic accordingly. Whatever present inside this method, check order status, okay. Let me go to my implementation class. So, see here, while we are converting to entity, here if you check for this set status, this line, the check order status is automatically called. It will accept the order status from the order DTO and call this check order status method. So if this status is equals to deliver, then we will set this flag as true, else we will set this flag as false. Similarly, while you are converting to DTO, from order entity to order DTO, it will call this check order status and string method. Here, so, it will call this check order status in string method and it will accept a boolean flag. If the order status is true, then order status will be set to deliver, else it will set to pending state. Okay. So, let me run this application quickly to check the output. Okay. My application started on port 9090. Let me go to the browser and hit localhost 9090 sagari so So, here I have the order controller. Let me save some order. Try it out in the description. Let me pass like order uh, 10. Okay. ID, no need to provide this ID. It will be automatically generated. Order amount, let's say 50,000. I am providing. And order date, I will pass this order date as YYYY MMMDD. So let me pass like 2022 August 10. Okay. The order status here let me provide as delivered. So according to our logic, if the order status is set as delivered while converting to order DTO to order entity, it will set the flag as true. So let's see our flag is coming as true or not. Okay. Status is coming as true. Okay. And if I call this get order by ID method by providing the ID 73, then I can see the order DTO in the response, see, so ID 73, order amount, description, order date and order status is delivered. So, as in our database, order is coming as uh, true for this ID 73, then in the order DTO, it should set to deliver. Understood? So, that's it. How we can use the custom method to do the source to target mapping. Okay. So, first we need to create a custom method and annotate this method as address name and provide the value for this method 
and then we will let MapStack know about this custom method while doing the source to target conversion. Okay. So how we can let MapStack know about this method? So inside mapping, we will set a property like qualified by name and has that method name. Understood? So it will automatically use this custom method to do the source to target conversion. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. I'll share the GitHub link for this project where you can download the entire project. So, I'll see you in my next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Thank you.